Hey you guys, what's going on? AM Anderson1979. Today is November 2nd, 2012. Um, I wanted to come on and uh, talk about self-love because uh, I was watching a video by um, what was my girl um, Anika21. I was watching a video with her and her mom. And uh, by the way, I mean, I, I couldn't tell the difference who was mother and who was daughter. I mean, mom, moms look good. What? Moms look good, y'all. I was just like, damn. <laughs> I hope I age like that. You know, <laughs> shit. Anyways, um, it was just something in the video that, you know, they're talking about just, you know, I, I did a video on this before. A, a while ago about self-love and loving yourself now now you know it's easy for us to say love yourself now you have to love yourself now you know the thing is is that you have to love yourself now you know that's the real deal you have to love yourself you have to love who you are right now um, going through this change on your weight loss journey um, you're built, you have to build that self-love right now because the, the thing is is that the image that you see in the mirror is something you don't like. It's something you, you, you look at, you despise. You know, some, something or someone, see this is not something that you develop, like that just, I'm sorry, not develop, that, that just happened one day. You didn't just wake up one day and just say, oh, look at me, Ooh, I'm fat, I don't like this look, Ooh. it didn't happen like that, you know. Something was planted in your head, you know, where looking at this image that you look at in the mirror is not beautiful. It's not acceptable, you know. So once that seed was planted there, you started to believe it. You know, once you start to believe that this is negative, or especially society, you know, they have all this stuff on TV on what beauty is and what beauty is supposed to look like. You're supposed to look like a Baywatch babe or whatever the case. And what you see, that image you see in the mirror is nothing like that. And so you, autom you automatically go into hating that, you know. I couldn't tell you today, I can't look in the mirror and be like, I hate you, motherfucker. You know, I hate you. Fuck you, because that's exactly what you're saying every time you look in the mirror and and you're 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 picking out all the flaws and all the things that are wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, the thing is, is we got to stop viewing the negativity when we look at ourselves in the mirror, because when 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 I was talking about self self acceptance a while ago. You know, I said, you know, it's easy to say, hey, you know, just accept who you are. You know, let's say accept who you are. It's easy to say that. It's so easy to say that. But the thing is, is you have to embrace yourself now. You have to embrace who you are now. And let me tell you what I mean by embrace. I mean, you remember when I did the video and I was talking about what I see when I look in the mirror, how I see determination, I see perseverance, I see, you know, positivity I see a strong woman I see someone who works hard and stuff like that I'm that, that's embracing who I am but then I got to move a step further and then I see I see the image you know I see the 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 frame the image you know and I told you I can pick out each little flaw that you guys don't see I pick out each little flaw oh my god look at that look at that look at this you know, I can I can do that. I can do that. I can stand there and I can make a, a 30 minute, not 30 minute, a 30 hour video talking about all the negativity if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? But that's just not what I do. See, the thing is, when you step out, when you move past what's what's deep inside, the, the determination and motivation, and you see the image, you point out the wonderful things, the positive things. I love my smile. I do. I think I have a cute smile. I like doing this. I think my face look cute when I do that. I like how my eyebrows are arched. I really do. You know, I think my breast in this bra is bomb. I like that. I like the way they sit up now. Um, on my weight loss journey here, I think that one of my best assets or the best thing that best one of the best things that could have came out of my weight loss was me actually having a round ass. I love that about me. Oh, I love having an ass. It's great. You know? I, I, I look at things like that. 
that's what you have to do to start developing the the um, to start accepting and embracing who you are now because this image that you see in the mirror excuse me y'all this image you see in the mirror it ain't gonna be it's not gonna be there forever because you're on a weight loss journey to change your life you know you want to, you're gonna change that 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 this outer shell this shell this this being you're gonna change that you know but in the process in the process you're gonna start developing that self love and eventually you're gonna to get to that point where you're gonna be madly and completely in love with you you know you're gonna be in love with every inch of you because the, the thing is is that if you don't start this process, the mental process of what you're seeing in the mirror, if you don't start this process now while you are on this journey or if you're just starting out on this journey, if you don't start it now, the only thing that's going to happen is when you get to 160 pounds, wherever, when you get there, you're still going to find negativity. You're still going to find things that aren't right. Oh, look, I got it's still flabby over here. Oh, this boob is bigger than that boob. Oh, my gosh, the teeth is crooked. You're still going to find those things. I mean, I know people that are 150 pounds and they're not happy. You know what I mean? I know people that are 400 pounds and they're not happy. So regardless of where you are, where you weigh in, regardless of where you weigh in, the negativity is still going to be there. That's why now is the time that you have to start embracing and loving who you are right now. You need to get in that mirror ASAP, ASAP, and start loving that person that you see every day. Loving that person that you know better than anybody in this world. You got to start loving, I'm sorry, and embracing things about yourself uh, and characteristics that nobody else has. Make yourself seem so special. I'm so rare because nobody have this. Only me. You feel me? Yeah. And um, that's 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 pretty much all I was gonna say about that, you guys. Um, um, I I know a lot of uh, my my peeps here on uh, Facebook. You know, um, they know that I'm going through. Well, you guys all know too that you know this. This is a very difficult time for me coming up um, in this holiday season, you know, without my mom and dad. But I'm coming up on a year without my mom and um, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's sending me through an emotional roller coaster coaster and um, it's it's reflecting in my conversations that I have with people it's reflecting in um, a lot of things when I'm in school for some reason or when I'm doing work homework and stuff it is I'm pretty much focused there but other than that I've been very off you know, I've been saying the wrong things to people. Shit, shit just been coming out of my mouth wrong. Just to, And I don't mean it in that way. And people have been taking it that way. <laughs> and I don't mean it that way. But I can't go around or I, don't, I can't walk around with a sign that says, Hey, you know, my mom's, who was my best friend, died last year and I ain't got her no more. So, you know, this is why I'm acting like this. No, I can't walk around like that. So, um... You know, I know you guys, y'all know I got mad love for you guys. And, and and I said on Facebook that, you know, you know, forgive me in advance if, you know, my emotions take over sometimes, you know, because I walk around with this, with a poker face all the time. You know, I do because I'm, I'm crushed. I'm heartbroken. It's the worst heartbreak that you could ever feel in your life, you know, not just losing my father, but, you know, a relationship that a mother has with a daughter is like no other. And um, I miss her so much, you know, every day, 
you know, I, I logged on to Facebook a couple of days ago. I don't remember when, but my son was sick and, you know, usually I always have the answers because all I had to do was make a quick phone call and there's my answer. You know, I don't have that option anymore because she's no longer here. My voice of reason is no, long, is no longer here. The person that had all my answers for me is no longer here, you know. And I know somebody had asked me before, you know, how are you dealing with it? How am I dealing with it? I'm not dealing with it well, you guys. I'm not. And um, I personally don't think uh, not any time in the near future I'm going to be able to deal with it well, you know, because the closeness. You know, I lived with my parents until I was like 27 years old, you know, and I'm 33 now. So um, I was a very dependent person. I know you guys look at me and be like, you know, most stand our own too, you know. They created me this way to stand on my own too, you know. And it's it's been such a battle for me because they did a great job. You know, they did a great job because I didn't think I would be able to to do what I I didn't, didn't think I'd be able to to continue life and move on and, and live. I didn't think I would have that opportunity. I didn't think that would happen to me because I I was always that girl to like oh no 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 if something happened to my mom uh uh it's over for me. You know the world must stop. You know, but the world kept going. You know, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong, but um, you know. They, um, both my parents, you know, they, um, they love the holiday season, especially my mom. She loved Christmas and Thanksgiving was always a time for family to come together. And I don't have that anymore. And that's something I have to, I have to deal with that. So, well, getting back on what I was saying about standing on my own two feet, you guys, I'm sorry. Um. You know, standing on my own two feet, like, a, a, but you know, a while ago, people used to be like, dang, Mo knows, you know, all the answers. Where do you think I got the answers from? Wow, you, you know a lot of stuff about a lot of different things. How do you think I found out all those things? Because I listened to my parents and they gave me all this stuff. They told me things that I would take with me to my grave. They told me things that I would that I will tell my son one day, you know. And um y'all, man. <laughs> I really love you guys, you know, I really do. I look at you guys as my family. Um but I just want you guys to know that, you know, I can be very transparent, as you guys know. And bottom line is Mo is very emotional during this time. And um, I'm, I'm not going to have so many good days. And um, videos may not be as consistent. <laughs> but I know... My dogs out here, you guys understand. You understand that this um, this was a blow to my soul. It was a blow to my soul, and um, I have to stay strong for my son and uh, my sister and my little family that I have. But I'm hurting. I'm hurting really bad, and. I just want to let you guys know that you know I'm still here so if I'm if I'm gone for a little bit you know and you don't hit me up on uh, Facebook and you guys don't know why it's just I I just need my time you know I need my time because I, I miss them so much and you know somebody asked me they was like you know 
you know, losing your mom, it has to feel like this or it has to feel like that. It's like, this is an indescribable feeling, you know? Um, the only thing that I can honestly compare this to is like losing your arm. Once you lose that arm, you'll never get it back. You know, they have uh, prosthetic limbs that they can put on. It's like having a, like a stepmom or a, or a mother-in-law or something. It's never the real thing no more. So you'll never get that back. I don't know if that was a good analogy. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay strong, y'all. That's all. But I wanted to come on and let my family on here know to understand that I'm dealing with a lot of emotions right now. And I really care about you guys. I care about this weight loss. I care about this journey. But I also care about me. And for me to stay well for my son and for the ones who are surrounded or who surround me right now I have to take a lot of time to myself because emotionally I'm not there you know I'm just trying to deal okay so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video on that note and I thank you guys for watching and um, I just appreciate all of you and if you do have the time you can always hit me go to my Facebook I'll Put that up here somewhere and that's it all right you guys keep it pushing and always stay 100 percent in all that you do because you know i will and i'm out